So you thought we finished talking about pizza. Me too. But when I was preparing the second vlog, I found out about the pizza village in Naples. And it's like the Oktoberfest, but with pizza. Videos. <laughs> And now we're going to a place I promised you to go to the last time. And I'm filming my vlog at the supermarket. Watermelons. Well, we have them wrong. Then some exotic things. Then some very strange foods, which is called, as we can read here, Fico d'India. If the food isn't packed, you can see the number. And then you should go to the balance and then find the same number here as well. That's our number. And then you have a check that comes from here. Oh yeah, and take a bag before you stick this thing on it. As I realized here, the Italians don't really like this kind of bread that is soft because they like it more, you know, like that. I did it, but I just forgot the English word for this. The peanuts, they give me the impression of America. And then guess what I'm reading? Arachidi from Texas. I was right. This cheese in the fridge may be nice, even it has the discount on it, offerta, like a special offer. But I would suggest you to take the cheese from here, from the signore, as well as the ham, because it's much better. Just because they prepare it in front of you, you can also see the number, and you should take your number here. And then you should wait till you see your number. And I'm already bored. These ones are fresh, already prepared suppers, which you also have to make hot, of course, with the warmness of your heart. Tiramisu, this one you should definitely try. Look at me. Green. We have some rucola in Moscow as well, but here it's like the universe of rucola. Do you still remember what you shouldn't add to oyster? Cheese. You can see lots of octopus here as well, and not only at the restaurants. So, for example, you can buy uh, the sea salad, it's called like that, but it's a little expensive, I think, so it's better maybe to take it at the restaurant where the quality is better as well. And yogurts are the same as everywhere. Activia, 3 euros. Aximel, almost 4 euros. Enormous yogurts, 2 euros. Apple kiwi lime, it's almost mojito. And this one is the hot chocolate. Typical Italian breakfast. Another typical Italian breakfast. And some subliminal messages. Spices, spices, spices and spices. More or less it costs one euro and a half. Pasta and spaghetti. Stop looking at me. The oil. More usually it costs something like five euros. Uh, you can see also here it costs for example ten euros. But you should know that if it's written dope on any of them it indicates the best quality. So you can buy the best oil. Please don't buy the pizza at the supermarkets when you're in Naples. And you can also use the self-service machines. I didn't buy anything so I'm running away. So guess where I am now? At the closed shop of mozzarella and I'm alone as you can see <laughs> cheese cheese so much cheese these are the typical Napolitan kisses I already tried them and I like it very much because here there is ham then cheese and eggs I guess they're just small and very tasty things you should know that you should buy mozzarella with water so don't get surprised if you see that someone is sending you like that because that's how the real Italians do but when you buy the mozzarella you can also ask to ah no no perché but when I was preparing pizza village in Naples, you know 